Hi there, my name is Max. I'm an application engineer here at UMAX, and today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial on how to use the fixed scanning modes for the EinScan Pro HD. This will be a quick tutorial focused on only the fixed scanning modes. So if you're looking for a more general Pro HD tutorial, then check out our last video. Anyway, let's get into it. In order to do fixed scans, you will need an industrial pack. Let's go ahead and set up our tripod. The first thing we need to do is attach the scanner mount to the ball joint. To do that, take this platform off. You will need to unscrew here to loosen it and hold this button to release. Then it slides right off. Screw this onto the scanner mount as shown. Then slide the whole assembly onto the ball joint. Then screw here to lock it in place. Now we can simply screw the ball joint into the tripod. And then mount the scanner. Fix scanning can be done in two different ways, automatic with a turntable or a single shot without a turntable. We will walk through turntable scanning first. Let's set up the turntable. The turntable has to be connected to the computer via this USB cable and to a power source via a power cable. Now let's start a fixed scan project. In fixed scan mode, we have a few more options here on the left. Notably, if we have the turntable plug in, we can change the amount of times the turntable will stop and your scanner will take a scan per rotation. So raising this number will increase the thoroughness of our scan and the amount of data captured, as well as the amount of time it takes to complete the whole scan. HDR, or high dynamic range, is great for objects with both light and dark areas. Here we can also change our alignment mode on the fly. These are very similar to the ones you choose in the handheld scanning mode when you're setting up your project. Here we can choose between features, markers, and the special markers found on the turntable. Those special markers are great for small objects that don't obstruct them. Except for that last one, these alignment methods are similar to the ones in the handheld mode. Line your subject up in the middle of the turntable, and make sure your camera is aiming at it. Line up the crosshair. Make sure it's not too far or too close. I like to frame it so that the subject is taking up as much room in the camera window as possible. Adjust the brightness just like normal, and now let's start our scan. If you get an error, it means that the scanner is not able to maintain tracking. You might need to reposition, adjust brightness, or consider another alignment mode. After each scan, we can edit the data before it's combined with any other data we've scanned before this. Let's OK that, and now we have our first scan. Let's get another angle and do another scan. When you approve the new data, it will automatically try to align the scan data together. If it messes up, we can either delete the new data in the Project Groups tab, or we can manually realign it ourselves the same way we would when using Project Groups for handheld scanning, as we showed in the last video. Meshing, of course, is also the same as it is in handheld scanning. Fixed scanning without a turntable is very similar to its counterpart, but instead of doing many scans per rotation, it's just a single frame that is edited and aligned with any previous data. To get other angles, each rotation must be done by hand. This is great for objects that are too big for the turntable. And that's about it for fixed scanning. Thanks for watching.